Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can enable land mode on the FlashForge AD5X. Now, land mode is a way to connect to your printer without having to go through the cloud. In this case, FlashForge's cloud. So if you don't wanna communicate with their servers and you just want to send your files and see some basic information about what your printer is doing on your own contained personal network, this is how you do it. And even if you're not really all that concerned about cloud access stuff. If for any reason the FlashForge cloud happens to be down, like it is right now as I record this, then you are not able to send prints from your slicer to your printer over the internet. And that is another reason why LAN mode can be really, really useful. So let me take you over to the printer and show you what you need to do. So from the printer's home screen, go to that gear icon. It should be the second to last icon on the left. And once you press that, go over to the Wi-Fi icon. That's gonna be near the top. And when you press that, you'll be able to see an option that lets you turn on LAN mode. And once you turn on LAN mode and you wait for that toggle to go green, also make note of that alphanumeric code at the bottom. Now that's gonna be a code that you're gonna to need to put into the slicer. So you can either write it down or take a picture of it with your phone and then leave the printer and head over to your computer and go to the Orca Flash Forward Slicer. And I'm gonna show you what you need to do from there. So next you wanna open Orca Flash Forge. And as you can see here, I am not currently logged into it because there's something going on with the Flash Forge cloud, but that's okay though. I was trying to work on this Hue Forge inspired 3D Incredible Hulk comic book cover. And I wanna send this to my printer, but since I can't do it over the cloud, I'm gonna to have to do it locally. So to do that, go up to the device tab here, click on that. And as you can see, here is a list of printers that are technically connected via my LAN. Now, my Venture 5M is offline right now, but it has already been bound via a LAN connection. And as you can see on the right hand side, LAN is lit up in blue and that corresponds to the list of printers that's directly underneath. So if I click off LAN, you see that there is nothing there. And if I click on network, there's also nothing there because there is no printer currently turned on and connected via Wi-Fi through the cloud on this particular network. So let's just re-enable LAN and let's come over here and click on the plus icon. And right here we can see AD5X is under other device. I'm gonna click on that. And now it wants me to input the printer access code. It's the same code that we saw when we enabled LAN mode on the printer itself. So go ahead and type that in. You hit the little check box next to it, and then you can see that the 85X has popped up. Now, the reason why you can see that it's printing right now is because I already bound this to make sure that everything was gonna work. And then I unbound it and basically just redid my step. So that's why you can see that it's doing something right now. But it is underneath the land function here. And from here, I will still be able to go back to, let's say, my preview here. And then when I want to print something, once it's been sliced, I can hit print plate. And then you will still be able to choose which slot you want the IFS to use. So as you can see, since the printer is already working right now, I can't change this. But before it started printing, I was able to change it to the corresponding spot. And then the send button down here was enabled. So it just sent it straight over to the printer and it is currently printing. And then if you want, you can go back to the devices tab and just kind of keep an eye on what your current temperatures are for your hot end and what the temperature is going to be for your bed. And if you have a camera attached, this is where you'll be able to look at that particular camera feed. And then you can see the different filaments that you have installed inside of the IFS. So this is something that is very, very handy if you either don't want to deal with the cloud or if there's a problem with the FlashForge cloud and you just want to send something to the printer wirelessly. 
So there you go. Setting up land mode is pretty easy to do. But if you want to learn more about this printer and see some experiences that I have had with it, I've made a playlist of all the videos that I've made so far on the 85X that you can check out in the description of this video. And if you found this video useful or any of those other videos useful or informative in any way, it would do me a great, great favor if you were to subscribe to the channel so that you can see more videos coming up about the 85X as well as other 3D printers in the future. So until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.